Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. For access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey everyone, checking in on the markets today, we had a gap up open and then profit taking on that gap up open. Not surprising that in a downtrend, we would not see continuation on a gap up open. So we have a very similar day to Friday, Thursday and Friday. We had the bounce, the continuation first thing Friday, and then the complete drop off. We had the bounce, the gap up open, and then a big drop off in consolidation. And I actually screwed up trading today as I was entering a bearish position in the morning and watching the whole morning. I'll look at that on the five minute time frame and show you where I was stopped out. And then the trade went on without me. So looking at SPY on the four hour time frame, pretty much the only hope for the bulls here for a shift in this momentum is a, an, an inverse head and shoulders pattern. Left shoulder, head, this would be the formation of the right shoulder. And then we would have to come up and break the lower high pattern by breaking resistance up at 268.10. So that would be the most important resistance for the bulls to break. We had a solid bounce at the end of the day, but after hours here, we're giving it all back. So very significant bounce. And now we're down at the low after hours. So we'll see where we open up tomorrow. The most important short-term levels for me are that low of the day before the bounce and then the high resistance, 266.39, where we topped out. That's the range that we're watching and without an hourly trend change, that four-hour inverse head and shoulders pattern is not going to happen. So the five-minute time frame, I was faked out this morning when I entered initially bearish on the pullback in the morning and then patiently waited around, got follow through, was close to locking in profit down here as it started to get towards a day maker. Then we saw a bounce and this bounce was significant enough where I had to exit my position if I wanted to remain cautious and protective. And the reason I was able to or wanted to do that and exit break even let's say my entry was right around here in the 26 267 29 range it's roughly where it was but i got the follow through eventually and then once we saw this bull move i could either exit break even or wait for the new high of the day which would give me a day maker of a loss so i didn't want to make my first trade of the day to expose me to a day maker of a loss so i took the break even instead and then was just faked out and did not retake that low of the day breaking, which obviously would have been in hindsight the way to play about it. But after that point, got a little bit frustrated and said, all right, well, I'm just done. I'm not going to trade it for now because that's when I'll make mistakes if I try and revenge trade or get back in a position that I had a better entry on previously. So that was that. I did flip it a couple times with SPXL and the leveraged ETFs on the oversold bounce and on the way down. But other than that, Ended up being just a small gain of a day rather than a multiple day maker had that played out. So nice to know that at least had the direction right, had the mindset right of which direction to be looking. And next time I won't get stopped out and it will be a multiple day maker. IWM on the daily time frame, just a lower high formed here as well. Very similar to SPY, a weak bounce attempt. It's still a potential bear flag. 142.39 and 141.45 are supports. And we're just setting these lower highs on these bounce attempts. With 146.19, the new resistance here, and the weekly time frame is a weak bounce attempt at this point. And QQQ, the tech sector is doing everything it can to try and get some bounce follow through. We had the lower high from Friday, 167.12, another bounce attempt with a lower high at 165.77. Same kind of inverse head and shoulders pattern on the four hour time frame for the tech sector has to follow through for the bulls. And it's holding up a little bit better, but left shoulder, head, this would be the right shoulder, and the neckline would be there at 166.05. Very similar pattern to SPY, a little bit stronger, and that's because the financial sector is so weak. Dumping back down, the weakest close we've seen, lowest price in a year and a quarter is 24.30, and here we are down at 24.43 today. So obviously weak, the high of the bounce from last week, 25.90, and nowhere near that. So the weakness in the financial sector is dragging SPY down while the tech sector is trying to get a bounce going, but the financial sector has no sign of the bulls. VIX pulling back further, so we have our double top, and now we're looking for a higher low. So we can be looking for a bottom fishing play off of 1990 support, looking for that higher low to form, and for these ranges to continue to tighten, and we should see a break this week. And well, it could be either this week or first day 
of next week on Monday, depending on how tight we get. But there's not a whole lot of space within here after that double top. So we should see a break on VIX sometime in the next couple of days. But we are anticipating a higher low compared to 1990 is going to come first. And on the weekly for VIX, upper Bollinger Band resistance rejecting the price four out of the last five weeks. So keeping an eye on that, but the daily tightening range is more important. So we'll see if the SPY bulls are able to hold that low of the day. It's a very important support level at 262.48. We'll see if the right shoulder shapes up at all on that potential four-hour pattern. Again, that's the only hope for the bulls in the short term is to follow through with that pattern. Otherwise, if we drop down and break to hourly lower highs and lower lows again, we're looking right back down at the lows of this current pullback. Hope you have a good night. Don't think I'm going to get a video out tomorrow, but we'll see you later in the week.